Hello again, lovely audience. It's me again. It's Reese, And I'd just like to say, stop. Stop right there. Stop what you're doing. Don't go any further. This video is actually a part two. This is part two. This one here is the second. This is part two of my series on Neti If you haven't seen part one yet, go watch that one first. There should be a link appearing sometime now. Up there, quick, click on it, click on it. If you have seen part one, and you enjoyed it, and you haven't subscribed yet, also do that now. If you like retro video game content, usually in the world of the PlayStation 1, <laughs> hit the subscribe button, and then click the notification bell, so that way you can keep updated with all the videos I bring out every week. Isn't that lovely? All right, no explanation this time. Just gonna go straight back into part two. Here we go, yeah! So, here we are, part two. Just gonna jump straight back in, actually. Pushy 2. Don't remember this one, actually. I don't, if, maybe I do. I can't remember. We'll see. Let's see what it is. Pushy 2. There's a block pushing one that's a bit shit. Maybe it's that one. I wonder if any of the developers who didn't make it in the industry look back on these and go, oh, fuck. Quack. Right. Pushy. Two, push, pushy 2B. Pushy 11B. Start game, please. Oh, it is the block pushing one. Oh, time limits. Shit. I didn't see that. Uh... So what have I got to do? Have I got to get... Have I just got to get them all on the X's? Oh, I think I've fucked it already. See, I'm terrible at these kind of games. Susan! I shouldn't have pushed it up so high. Yeah, I've fucked it. Oh, I've fucked it. Oh, I've absolutely fucked it. Well, I might as well try and fuck it even more. There you go. They're all in the right place now. What happens when I fail? Oh, nothing. Oh. Let's retry it. Let's retry. These noises are quite fun, aren't they? All right, so if I do that, don't push them too high up. There we go. There we go. Okay, I've got it now. I've got it. I'm not good at puzzle games. I, look, I lack the basic mental abilities. See? Oh, no, actually, I did that all right. Come on, David. You can do it. Yeah! Jesus. Right. How do I... Let me put it here. Let me put it around because I don't want to put it down there because I can't get it out again if I put it there. Let me go around here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that at all. Shit, now I fucked it. I was going to put it here and I was going to... No, that wouldn't have worked either, would it? Maybe I haven't fucked it. No, I fucked it. No, maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't. I think I can, do... I think I can fix it. <gasps> I can fix it. I fixed it. Quickly, before time runs out. Quickly, Sarah. Yeah, did it. There you go. Definitely haven't got this far before. Oh, what are these ones? Oh, they roll. I mean, that one, this one was easy. That one was easy. Bob. Thanks, Bob, for your easy task. This one should be easy in theory. Oh, no, I fucked it. <laughs> oh, shizer. And I can't go round either. Oh, for God's sake. Just go up there. Look, I fixed it, mummy. I'm a good boy. Give me a biscuit. All right. That's enough for Pushy to think. What's next? Ah! Ah ha 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 Next up is probably, probably one of my favourite games on this disc. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to Psycon. Ah! Yeah! I f***ing love this game. Spent a lot of time playing this game in my youth. Oh, I haven't played this in a while. I hope I remember the controls. Yeah! All right. Yeah! <laughs> so this game basically is a very, very, very fun game. It's a sort of running, gunning uh, maze game, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of like you just run around in like a big maze area. you got to find these little blue, these little blue lights. you got to unlock them all and then find the exit and that's it. And just kill all these weird big shoulder pad dudes that run at you. That's it. It's bloody simple concept and it, it's so fun to play. I used to be pretty good at this game, but I haven't played it in a while, so I might now be terrible. We'll see. Oh, the nostalgia, the memories. Oh, it's great. And you know, for for a for a homemade net, you know, net your Rosie game that's made by just some random dude in his basement, probably. Did, did a very good job of it. Just even the little the details, like the flashing danger signs and like all the little rotatey, spirally things that are going on around. You know, it's just it just looks good. This you'd be forgiven for you know thinking that this is actually like a real PlayStation One like release title. You know, 
it looks great. It, the sound design's great. The music's great. Oh, God. Urgh. Gameplay's fun. It's all like the little collectibles. I don't know what these little blue wedges do. Right, where the f*** do I go now? One thing I used to love doing when I played this game was I used to pretend that the this guy that you play as, this character, I would pretend he was like a sort of Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, like Dolph Lundgren, like... Jean-Claude Van Damme, Steven Seagal type of character, you know? Doing his good deeds, murdering bad people. Got to get out of here! Get out now! Get down! Get out of here! I used to have a lot of fun imagining such things when I was a child. Oh man, it is... It is. Lots of good good vibes in this game, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. There ain't nobody upstairs! That's the end of that level. Level two. Level two then. Level two. Who's in here? Get out! Oh uh, yeah, this used to happen a lot. Little glitchy friend over here. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Do you remember the Venga Boys? They were great, weren't they? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, the thing is with the uh, enemies of this game is they, they don't shoot at you, sure, but they are very unpredictable. Yeah, they just sort of attack you by just, just sort of rubbing at you like this. Rubbing into you. Oh, just rubbing shoulders with the enemy. Have some of that and a little bit of that. And a bit of this as well for good measure. I need to find the other lock. 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 Where are you, lock? Uh, I reckon it's down here. I haven't been down here, have I? No, I have been. Oh, look, I've definitely been down here. Look at all the bodies. Ah, out of time. Shit. That was Psycon, one of my personal favourites. Uh, on the Netty Rosie Hall of Fame. Yes, it is a lovely game. So what's next? What is next? Hover car racing. I feel like for me this could be another sort of mahjong situation. I think I remember playing it and just kind of being like, it's not that good. But we'll see. Maybe uh, I'll develop a deep love for it now that I am an adult. Arcade. Let's do arcade. Let's just do regular. Mustard. There you go. I'm going to be mustard. Uh, oh, respray. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is, uh, this is all right, actually, a little colour thing. Well, seeing as I'm mustard, I will be the mustardy, most mustardy yellow I can be. There you go. Trade. Oh, have I got money? Missile? I'm going to spend all my money on missiles. There you go. Just give me loads of missiles. Let's just race. Let's just see what happens. Don't know what the controls are. We'll find out. I don't know which car I am. I'm one of the yellow ones, but there you go. Oh, I don't have missiles. I thought I had missiles. I thought I just paid for missiles. Oh, it's quite hard to control. It's very uh, sort of floaty, but it's, uh, it's doable. It's doable. It's just uh, that corner there is a bit difficult. Come on, you bastard. Move, mustard. Move. I mean, they just fucking sped off right in front of me there. I mean, I don't know how you're ever meant to catch up with them, those guys. I imagine this being fun on a two-player mode, but I mean, those other racers there, they're just impeccable. Oh, God. They're See, look, they're about to lap me, and I don't think I'll be doing that terrible, you know? Like, these guys are all just bloody really fast. Look. And I don't have missiles. I thought I had missiles. What did I, <gasps> I do have missiles. How did I ah, there they are. <laughs> Take this! It's also a very long race. This has been going on for ages now. How many laps have I done? Oh, there you go. Ah, uh, is what it is. Right, what's next? Give me something good. Gravitation! Uh, this is going to be one of those ones that's probably going to divide people, I reckon. I've got a deep personal love for this game, but it's only because me and my cousin used to play it all the time. Gravity. Sean. Oh yes, I mean uh, this this menu screen, just childhood incarnate. So let's choose a map. I'm gonna do the one that we used to play a lot. Uh, num map two. Basically, really easy concept. You've got these little rockets, and you drive around, right? And that's kind of it. But gravity will take its hold. That's how easy it is, right? Because gravity will just pull you down because gravity is a bastard. But yeah, you just flow around, you just fly around. It's, a, it's actually a racing game, so you just go to the little points that are marked around the map. But the best part of the game, the best part, was the fact that you could shoot like this. You could shoot little, little cute dots. And then what you do is, is you just have fucking dog fights. Playing it one player does not really do it any justice. If I had a second player, you know, 
<laughs> this would probably look a lot better than it is. But we used to have a lot of fun with this game anyway. We. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, I'll stop here because there's not really much. That's kind of it for this game, really. Oh, but deep memories and memories and love. Oh, next. What is next? Rocks and Gems. All right. I do remember this one. I have played it. Remember, I used to play it. Hard and unfair, I would say, are the two are the two things I would describe this game. You'll see why. Simple premise, right? Run around, collect the gems, don't get hit by rocks, right? Fine. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. It's easy, isn't it? It's such an easy... Well, oh, no, it's not, is it? It's not bloody easy, is it? Because rocks will just fall at you in any situation. Right. Let's see how many I can get. You've got to be... It's, you've got to really plan where you're going to go and make sure the rocks don't fall you. That's the thing. This is the thing, you see. Look, because I go here, and then that's going to fall, right? That's fine. That's fine. I can dodge this one. But if I go and get that one, that's going to fall on me. So if I go maybe round it... See? Arrgh! There's no way to predict when and how they're going to fall on you. It's really hard. Mining for gems. Just mining for gems. Minding my own business. Give me those sweet, sweet gems. And none of the rocks. Shit, I shouldn't have done that. I f***ed it. Oh, I knew I'd f*** it. Oh, shit. I wonder if I can just get to the bottom of the level. Nope. <laughs> nope. There's a wall there. How am I meant to... It meant to sort of trick... Get the rocks to blow the wall up. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Yeah, I fucking... Oh, it's so annoying because I'd really want this game to be good. This is the kind of game I'd imagine you seeing on, like, the App Store or something now, you know? And, you know, it's a shame because the game looks pretty good, all things considered, you know? It's not the worst looking game on Net Erosi. Oh, oh, shit, shit. <laughs> it, honestly, this game, it honestly gives me like a big... It's this When the rocks fall and that explosion, it's the biggest jump scare that I've ever got in a game, personally. I mean, how are you meant to get that one? How are you meant to get that? Like, or that one? How are you bloody meant to get that? There's no point. There's literally no point. I don't know. This game... I told you, puzzle games, just I'm not very good at them. I can't do them, okay? I have a problem with puzzles. So yeah, that's another look at some more of the, uh, some more classic Net Eurosy games there. So that's it for part two. Part three will be on the way to you very shortly, I'm sure. If you did enjoy the video today, then please hit that like button. Hit the like button, hit it right in the square and the jaw. Also, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And hit the notification bell to keep updated with all the videos that bring out. And also part three. Part three will be here soon. And that's it for part two. I'll see you in part three, won't I? Bye, see you next time.